ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ವಂಚಕೌಪಾತೃಭ್ಯಸಿಂಧುಭೈವ ಪತಿ ಭವಾನಿಭ್ಯೋ ವೈಷ್ಣವಿಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಜೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧಾರ್ ಶ್ರೀವಾಸ ಗೋರ್ ಭಕ್ತವೃಂದ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ ಹರೆ ಸೊ ತೇ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಅಸ್ಪೆಷಿಯಸ್ ಡೇ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಅಪಿಯರೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀಲ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಅದ್ವೈತ So Advaita Acharya, of course, is uh, one of the members of the Pancha Tattva. Within the Pancha Tattva, there are three Vishnu Tattva forms, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Sri Nityananda Prabhu, and Sri Advaita Acharya are all Vishnu Tattva. Uh, Advaita Acharya, uh, Pancha Tattva, one of the other Pancha Tattva, one of the Pancha Tattva, Panchatattva represents five different features of the Absolute Truth. Advaita Acharya is the incarnation, the form of the incarnation of the Lord. Prabhu, did you translate what I said? Hare Krishna, I was saying Advaita Acharya is the incarnation of the Lord. So Advaita Acharya plays a very prominent role in the pastimes of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He, he was living in his residence, he had two residences. Advaita Acharya had two residences. One is at Shantipur and the other is at Mayapur. And so while he was living at Shantipur, he was considering how to deliver the world because the world was in a very fallen condition. Everywhere people were in, um, doing karma kandi, religious activities, nobody was engaged in pure devotional service so ajwaita acharya considered how to deliver the world he considered himself to be unqualified Although he is the form of Mahavishnu and Sada Shiva, he still considered himself unworthy and unable to deliver the fallen souls. So he was reading the scriptures and he came across a verse in the scriptures which described that the Lord is obligated to a person who offers Ganges water and Tulsi leaves to him. So in this way, Advaita Acharya began to call to the Lord. He offered Ganges water and Tulsi leaves and he called to the Lord to please come in this world and save the world. Advaita Acharya, uh, uh, So 
Whenever the Supreme Lord appears, before he comes, before the Supreme Lord comes, these different uh, devotees, other different incarnations, they will come first and they will make arrangements for the appearance of the Lord. So Advaita Acharya was already in this world for many years before Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared. So he was much, much older than Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So Advaita Acharya was responsible for the Lord to come because he was worshipping the Lord, calling for him and offering Tulsi leaves and Ganges water. And in this way, the Lord accepted his prayers and the Lord descended in Mayapur at the Yoga Peak as Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Advaita Acharya was not sure that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, that this boy, Nimai Pandit, the son of Sachi Mata and Jagannath Nishra, he was not completely sure that he must be the Supreme Personality of Godhead. He was not sure, although he'd been praying for the Lord to come, he didn't know if the Lord had actually accepted his prayers and agreed to his request. So, Advaita Acharya was constantly considering, is he actually the Supreme Lord? And he would, he would always respect Lord Chaitanya. Of course, Lord Chaitanya was Nimai Pandit at this time. Advaita Acharya, although he was so much older than Nimai Pandit, Advaita Acharya would offer respect to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But Lord Chaitanya that would then come to Advaita Acharya and offer respects to him. And in this way, Advaita Acharya became very perplexed. He became very... He thought, oh, this is not good. The Lord is worshipping me. I should be worshipping him. So thinking in this way, Advaita Acharya, he thought, how to make Chaitanya Mahaprabhu angry, because he's always respecting me, he's coming and bowing to me, and Advaita Acharya thought, this is not good. So he thought, I will make him angry, I will preach the Mayavada philosophy. So Advaita Acharya took the book called Yoga Vashishta, where there's a lot of impersonal philosophy. And he began to give classes on the Yoga Vashishta. And he was preaching that the goal of life is impersonal liberation. And we should merge with the oneness. And the, and Lord and he would preach that the Brahman is the supreme, and Krishna comes from the Brahman. He would teach. He would preach all impersonal philosophy. <laughs> 
So when Lord Chaitanya heard that Advaita Acharya was preaching Mayavadi philosophy, he became very angry and he rushed over all the way from Mayapur, he ran all the way to Shantipur and he ran to Advaita Acharya's house and he grabbed him and he threw him on the ground and began to beat him. <laughs> So Advaita Acharya's wife, Sati, Sati Thakar, Sita, Sita Thakarani, she was very worried and she pleaded with Lord Chaitanya, oh please don't kill my husband. He's an elderly man. If you're beating him like that, you will kill him. Please don't kill him. Well, Lord Chaitanya told the Dwaita Acharya and he told him angrily, he said, I was sleeping in Vaikuntha, resting peacefully, and you woke me up with your love calling. You were calling me to come. You were calling me to come and deliver the world, and you are preaching this Mayavadi philosophy. Why are you giving me trouble like this? <laughs> Actually, Advaita Acharya took pleasure in Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu beating him because previously Lord Chaitanya had always been respecting him, but now Lord Chaitanya was beating him and punishing him. And so Advaita Acharya was enjoying, he thought, this is very good. I'm getting the real mercy of Lord Chaitanya now. So, I, I, another important pastime which took place concerning Advaita Acharya was that he had one secretary. The secretary of Advaita Acharya was a person called Kamala Kanta Vishwasha. And this Kamala Kanta Vishwasa, he wrote a note and sent a note to the king of Puri, to Maharaj Pratabharudra. And in the note, he said, Advaita Acharya is the personality of Godhead, but he is in debt 300 rupees. So somehow this note came into the hands of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And when Lord Chaitanya got the note, and read it, he said, oh, he said, it's very good that he's understood Advaita Acharya is the personality of Godhead. This is true. But then he said, He's committed a great offense by saying that Advaita Acharya is in debt 300 rupees. He said, how could he be the personality of Godhead 
and at the same time be in debt. The personality of Godhead is Bhagavan, and he possesses all opulences. He can never be in debt. And so then Lord Chaitanya said, you can inform this Kamala Kanta Vishvasa that he should never come in my association again. I don't want to see the face of such an offender. So when Advaita Acharya heard that his secretary had been banned from the association of Lord Chaitanya, then Advaita Acharya went to see Lord Chaitanya to complain to him. And Dwaita Acharya said to Lord Chaitanya that when I preached the Mayavadi philosophy, you only came and beat me, but you never banned me from your association. You have given him a greater punishment than I got. Why should he get more mercy than me? So when Lord Chaitanya heard these words of Advaita Acharya, then he had a change of heart and he agreed. I said, all right, bring this Kamala Kanta Vishwasa here. I will instruct him. So Kamala Kanta was bought, was brought there in front of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told him, he said, You should be very careful about how you describe Advaita Acharya and don't commit such offenses against him. Lord, you see, Kamala Kanta, he sent the note to the king of Puri because he was suggesting to the king of Puri that the king of Puri could pay the 300 rupees debt which he had. The king of Puri being a wealthy man, he could pay off the debt of Advaita Acharya. That was the, that was the intention of Kamala Kanta. But Lord Chaitanya explained to all the devotees, along with Kamala Kanta Vishwasa and Advaita Acharya, he told them that we should never take money from materialistic people. If you take money from materialistic people, you will become contaminated. And when the heart is contaminated, then it will make 
very, it will become very difficult to remember Krishna. So following these instructions, it's customary that people like Brahmanas who will beg, they will only beg from pious people. They will not ask money from materialistic people like kings. So then one more important pastime which took place concerning Advaita Acharya concerns Mother Sachi who is the mother of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So it happened that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was giving mercy to all different devotees. So then the devotees said, what about Mother Sachi? You should also give mercy to Mother Sachi. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, no, I will never give mercy to Mother Sachi. She is an offender of devotees. <laughs> So devotees were all shocked. They thought, your own mother, you're not going to give her mercy. You gave mercy to so many other devotees, but you refuse to give your blessings to your own mother. Why? What has she done? So Lord Chaitanya explained that his older brother Vishwarup used to go to the home of Advaita Acharya and he used to hear Advaita Acharya preaching from the scriptures. And after hearing Advaita Acharya's preaching from the scriptures, after some time it happened that the brother of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu left home to go and take sannyas. Actually, Mother Sachi and Jagannath Mishra, they were planning to get their oldest son, Vishwarup, married. So when Vishwarup understood the intention of his parents, then at that time he decided to go away from home. And go, he went off and eventually he took sannyas. So Mother Sachi, she was thinking that my son has gone away because of all the preaching that he heard from Advaita Acharya. He was always going to the home of Advaita Acharya and then hear Advaita Acharya reading and talk preaching from the, the Shastra. And it's convinced him that the material world has no meaning. And that's why he's gone off and taken sannyas. <laughs> Our teaching 
Mother Sachi never actually said anything to Advaita Acharya, but within her mind, she was thinking, I think it's because she was thinking that it's because of Advaita Acharya, he's influenced the mind of my son, and that's why he's gone off and become a sannyas. <laughs> So, Lord Chaitanya said, my mother is an offender. I'm not going to give her blessings. So the devotees said, we will bring Advaita Acharya here and Mother Sachi can take the dust from the feet of Advaita Acharya and in this way she can get free of her offenses. So some devotees were sent to Mother Sachi's house to bring Mother Sachi and other devotees were sent to Advaita Acharya's home to bring Advaita Acharya and they brought both of them, they all had to, they had to come to the home of Srivas Pandit where Lord Chaitanya was. <laughs> But Advaita Acharya, he was protesting, he was saying, no, no, Mother Sachi, she is the Divine Mother. She could not offend anyone. She never offended me. That is no offense. She'd never done anything wrong to me. And he didn't, he didn't want to accept that she could have offended him. Advaita Acharya, so they were bringing Advaita Acharya and he and he was he was so absorbed in thinking of Mother Sachi and what a great soul she was that at one point he collapsed. And so at that time, the brought Mother Sachi said, quick, now is your chance. Take the dust from the feet of Advaita Acharya. Get free of any offense. <laughs> So this pastime, very important, Lord Chaitanya was giving instruction to all the devotees that even if you're a great devotee like Mother Sachi, if you offend a pure devotee, then you cannot get love of God. <laughs> So we said Advaita Acharya, he was responsible for calling the Lord to come to this world. And he was also responsible to give the message, the instruction to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that his pastimes had now concluded and that he'd already fulfilled his mission and he could return to the spiritual world. Don't close the door. So Advaita Acharya, he understood that it was time for Lord Chaitanya to finish his pastimes and he sent a message, he wrote a special sonnet, a poem to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu telling him 
that there's already enough rice in every in the marketplace. Everyone has got enough rice. There's no more business anymore. And in this way, when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu got this message, then he became very ecstatic. His ecstasy increased many times. And in a short while, he disappeared from this world. So Advaita Acharya was not a sannyasi, he was in householder life and he had six sons. And of the six sons, three were devotees, but three were asara. Three were useless. They became smarter Brahmins. You know, put that on. It's, I need the air. Advaita Acharya, so oldest son was called Achutananda. And Achutananda was a very great devotee, even when he was a young boy, only a few years old. When he heard that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had accepted initiation, he said, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the Lord of the three worlds. How could somebody else be his spiritual master? So everyone was very pleased when they heard this young boy, only a few years old, when they heard this young boy speaking this nice, estim the high estimation of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. They all appreciated what a nice devotee this Achutananda is. And there was another son of Advaita Acharya, his name was Gopal, and he was helping one, one time in the pastime of the cleaning of the Gundicha temple. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu asked Gopal to chant and dance. But when Gopal began to chant and dance, at one point he collapsed unconscious. So, Advaita Acharya was present and he came, he was very worried about his son, his young son, and left the body. And the devotees were all chanting prayers to Lord Nasringadev. But Lord Chaitanya just simply came there and put his hand on the chest of the boy and said, Gopal, get up and dance. Don't leave us. Get up and dance. And immediately Gopal came back to consciousness and got up and began to dance. So Advaita Acharya stayed in this world after Lord Chaitanya's pastimes were finished. He lived here in this world for more than a hundred years to a right, very ripe old age before he departed back to the spiritual world. Advaita Acharya, 
You should understand that the Sada Shiva, the Advaita Acharya's incarnation of Sada Shiva and Mahavishnu, that Sada Shiva is also Vishnu Tattva, that he's a form of the Lord which resides in the Vaikuntha planets. So Advaita is Acharya, Advaita meaning one, and Acharya, the teacher by example. So he teaches us one, devotion to the Supreme Lord Krishna, one God, and he teaches by his own example. All right, so I, I think I should stop here because you told me you, you didn't want me to talk too long. <laughs> so I already went five minutes over time. Okay, so. Thank you very much for giving me an opportunity to speak on the glories of Advaita Acharya today. Is there any question? Okay, so fine. Right. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna, Srila Prabhupada, Ki Jai. Okay. Finished.